Hello there, are you wondering how you could build a memory game in Java? If you are watching this video, my guess is that you are learning Java and looking for beginner projects so you can practice and improve and gain confidence in your programming skills. I have good news for you, you just found the right tutorial. In this tutorial, I will help you to create from scratch a memory game application like the one that you can see here using Java. This game will work as a card matching game. So you can click on two boxes and if the images are the same, then the cards will remain upwards. Otherwise, the cards will turn around. And you need to keep going until all cards are upwards. To build this game, we will be using Java and we will also use Java FX to create the user interface. JavaFX is a Java library that makes creating desktop applications really, really easy. There are other libraries in Java to create interfaces like Swing. However, I think that JavaFX is much simpler to use, so that's why that's the one that I will advise you to use. Plus, it has a very nice feature called FXML, which allows you to create interfaces using XML and also using CSS to style the application. We'll see how to do this in just a minute. Alright, so without further ado, let's get started. This tutorial is going to be divided in several sections. We will create an interface like the one that you can see here, and then we will add extra code so you can interact with the application. So, for example, when you click on a car, the image will change. Or if you click on two images that are different, the cars will turn around and so on. Perfect, so let's start by creating the project. To do so, we are going to need Maven. So, in case you don't know what Maven is, it's a tool that will download and manage dependencies or libraries used in your project. So you will need to install Maven first. And there is a link in the description to download Maven with instructions about how to install it. Alright, so assuming that you have Maven installed, let's create the project. To create a project, you need to run the following command from the terminal. In here, you can chain the group ID and you can also chain the artifact ID. So in this case, I'm going to call the artifact memory game. So this will be the project name as well. So I will hit enter now and this will generate the folder structure with all the files that our JavaFX project is going to need. And now we are going to move inside the folder using the cd command and then the folder and then I will run the maven command mvn build install. And this way maven will download all necessary libraries for the project to work. Alright, so we have generated the project, so let's open our ID, which in this case is going to be IntelliJ. And as you can see, Maven has created a project structure and it has created a folder inside called SRC, which is going to contain our code. And there is also a file which is called PwnXML. And this is kind of the project descriptor where we indicate the libraries that our project is going to need. And as you can see here, we have two JavaFX libraries, which are the one that we are going to use. Next, we are going to create the fxml file which is going to contain our user interface. Overall, the interface will have a border panel 
and in this border panel we are gonna use two sections the top and the center the top is gonna contain a horizontal view or or H box with a button to restart the game and the center section we have a horizontal box as well and inside a grid panel which we contain all images of for our game I'm gonna leave in the description a link to this file so you can copy the file from there So once you have created the file, we have to tell our program where this file is so it can load it. To do so, let's open the app class and here I will create a new file and I will indicate the location of the file. To get the location of the file, right click on the file and then select copy path. Then you can paste the path inside the parenthesis and then call to URI and to URL. So this will give you the URL location of the file. And now I can call fxmlloader.load and pass the URL. And this will load the file in memory and returned a parent object containing the interface. Now I will call stage dot and set title and the title will be memory game. And then I will wrap the interface that I just created in a scene. So I will say new scene and root. So the stage is kind of the window of our game and then the scene contains what is gonna go inside the window and after I need to call a stage dot show so the window will show up and that's all you need to do to get the interface started so let's run this and test it out and as you can see, the window will show up, however, is empty. Now we need to populate this with all the cards for our memory game. Our grid is going to have six columns and six rows. So to populate the grid, we are going to create a new class called App Controller, And we need to link this class with our interface. So I will open the fxml file and in the outer anchor panel I'm gonna add an attribute called fx and then controller and I'm gonna pass the class we just created including the package perfect so we just link our user interface to the controller class so now we are gonna add the code to populate the grid with images so let's go to the app controller and here we are going to add the reference to the grid panel so we can add images to it so I will say add fxml and then public grid panel and game matrix make sure this name match with the ID assigned to the grid panel in the fxml file Brilliant, so now we need to add the initialize method which contains the code that should run right after the interface is loaded. So I will say add fxml again and then public void and initialize. So let's load the image to start. So I will load the image that we are going to use, which is going to be a question. So I will say file input string and then the location of the image file. 
Then I will pass this file to an image object and then I will create an image view which will contain the image. So in other words, we have an image view which contains an image and this image contains a file. Now I will set the width and the height for each image view. So I'm going to say 90 and the height is going to be 90 as well. And now I will add the image view to the grid panel. So I will say game matrix, which is the grid panel, then dot add and then the image view and then the column and the row where we want to insert the image. For now, it's going to be zero and zero. So let's run this. And perfect, that's working fine. Since we want to build a grid of 6x6, six six, I'm going to wrap this code in two for loops, each going from 0 to 5 inclusive. And then in the last line, instead of inserting in the cell 00, zero I will use the indexes from the loop. So I will say row and col for column. Awesome, so let's run it and see if it works. Perfect, we just created the user interface for our memory gain in Java. In the next video, I will show you how you can add different images to the different cars and how to add listeners so the cars turn around when you click on them. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please consider subscribing if you find it useful. And watch out for the next video where I will show you how to complete the memory game. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.